to inoculate America against COVID-19, vaccinators are facing unparalleled pressure in their race against the clock. The country's largest vaccination effort has gotten off to a rocky start for many reasons. The federal government's decision to punt key decisions about distribution and administration to states, a shortage of vaccinators, physical distancing required at clinics, and an underfunded public health system that's already stretched thin. But not to be missed are the complex logistics involved in getting each shot into someone's arm, a challenge regardless of how many doses each hospital, pharmacy, nursing home, and county-led clinic has on hand. Take Moderna's instructions. Thaw the vials for two and a half hours in a refrigerator set between 36 and 46 degrees. Then let them rest at room temperature for 15 minutes. Do not refreeze. Swirl gently between each withdrawal. Do not shake. And so on. Last but not least, a vial of Pfizer, BioNTech, or Moderna vaccine lasts only six hours once opened. By comparison, some flu shot vials are good for a month once one dose is withdrawn. And unlike for the flu, the COVID vaccine doesn't come ready to go. It has to be put in a syringe on site for every person getting a shot by a pharmacist or other trained personnel. As a registered nurse who's been vaccinating first responders told KHN, this is very different administering this vaccine. The process, it takes a whole lot longer than any mass vaccination event that I've been involved with. During a recent clinic over several hours, that nurse, Heather Surrey, estimated she gave maybe 25 shots, many fewer than the number of flu shots she's given during similar clinics over the years. And at day's end, many health workers are left to either throw out precious doses or get shots into any arm that's available.